Hello and welcome to the start of another reading vlog. First of all, we are starting fresh in June. The original plan was to start weekly vlogging in May and I got about a week worth of footage. Didn't end up posting that. Uh, month was just, or May was just like a weird month. Um, so we are starting over. We are starting with weekly vlogging in June. We are we have some really fun, cool themes that, that we're going to be working with in June specifically. And yeah, it's going to be a great time. May was a weird month. First of all, I'm starting this vlog a little early. Uh, just, just so, you know, when I actually do start getting to reading, there are no questions. I am introducing this vlog a couple of days early and then I'm actually going to start reading on Friday because I have the day off and that if I get everything done that I want to get done that will be a prime reading day yeah May was a weird month um but so I'm very excited to start vlogging I'm very excited to start reading again because I haven't gotten a lot of reading done lately don't get me wrong May was still a pretty decent reading month I did get a decent amount of books that I wanted to get read read but not not everything and I didn't read nearly as much as I wanted but we're starting fresh, we're starting over. I'm very excited to start the month out, hopefully on a bang. If you watched my June TBR, you will know that I let my fiance pick my books for the month. And they were not very kind. I love my fiance with my whole heart. They are the absolute love of my life. I've known them for more than half of my life at this point, but they are, uh, they like to challenge me. They like to keep me on my toes. They like to make sure I am on top of my game at every aspect. And they love to challenge me. They gave me a pretty hard TBR this month. I'm going to be attempting to read all of the books that, well, most of the books that they gave me for my June TBR in one week. That is six books in seven days. There are two books that I will not be featuring in this vlog and those are Gideon the Ninth. This one is because this will be featured in the next vlog. So the vlog that will be coming out after this one because it is a themed vlog. Um, and this just happens to fit in with the theme. So this was the book that I ended up unwrapping from my unwrapped project that they ended up picking out for me. So we won't be including that one and and lord of the rings so this one is obviously i'm not going to finish the entire three book series in a single week if i counted correctly the entire book is split up into 63 chapters there are 30 days in june meaning if i read two chapters a day with a couple of days having like three chapters then i will be set to finish it in June within the month so this will be like interspliced into vlogs you'll be getting like periodical updates on this but I, I'm not aiming to finish that in a week that's just not gonna happen so what am I going to be reading you're probably asking yourself well if you watched my June TBR you probably already know that um, but in this vlog I will be reading fairy tale road tonight this is a side story in the fairy tale universe Dungeon Party, which is a book that I got in Boston for Benson Once Upon a Time because this just sounded like it was something that would be right up their alley. The Bone Ships, which is something I got for me, but I think Benson also wants to read and they've been anxiously waiting, awaiting my review of this, so obviously I have to get to it. Pestilence, which is a romance that I've been wanting to get to for quite a while. Uh, Oddity, which will be, re be my reread for the month. And then a book that I have downstairs, which is Council of Mirrors, being the last in the Sisters Grimm series. So, I'll be trying to read six books in seven days. I have no doubt in my mind that I can finish two of these within a single day. Uh, that being Council of Mirrors and, obviously, The Fairy Tale Road and Night. Everything else is going to be a stretch. Uh, so, with this being, like, my first weekly vlog, this will also be one of two last weeks in you know of school so i'm i'm intrigued to see how this vlog will go actually no this will be by the time i actually start like filming this video or yeah actually filming like my reading process of this video it will be like the last full week of school 
Uh, so I'm not sure how drained I'm going to be. I'm not sure how well my plans are going to, I, this might be very ambitious. I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out, but I'm excited to try. Like I said, Friday I have off and I have Sunday off. So as long as I get all of like the house cleaning and, and all of like the rest of the organizing that I want to get done done, I should have some prime reading time. I think that's all I needed to share with you. I'm very excited to see how this goes. <sighs> hopefully, hopefully I'm not disappointed. Okay, it's Friday and technically the official start of this vlog. I said in my last clip that originally this was going to be my full 100% reading day uh, to start out because it's the first of the month and we were going to start off the month right by trying to get as many of these books off of my TBR as possible. And then I realized that today is not the first, it is the 31st. Um, so June hasn't officially started yet, however, today's still going to be my reading day. Any book that I finish today will just count for my, you know, count towards my June reading, towards my June wrap up. Um, I'm very eager to start these books and today is really the only day that I have that I can comfortably just sit around and read all day. With that being said, I do have some chores around the house that I do have to get done at some point today, but I have an audiobook on standby. I can't get any of that done though until Benson wakes up and they're still asleep. So until they wake up. I'm going to be making a decent amount of progress, or as much progress as I can, in Pestilence. I don't think I fully explained what this is about, other than it is about the, this whole series uh, follows the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse and their romance stories. So this is Pestilence, and in this one we follow Sarah, who is a firefighter, and she takes it upon herself, or she's chosen within her group to try and kill pestilence she doesn't realize is pestilence cannot die and others before her have tried and now he's pissed he's very pissed off and he decides to take it upon himself to hold her accountable and make an example of her um by making her come along his journey with her but Obviously things are not always what they seem. Everything's not so black and white and uh, pretty soon they start to realize they might be growing attached to each other. I've heard a lot of um, iffy things on on this series as a whole, uh, so I'm very excited to see what I think about it. I've been eagerly awaiting finally reading this book, so we'll see what I think of it. considerable amount of hours later um i have definitely been reading but i have also been extremely productive not that um reading isn't productive but um i really did need to get my room sorted out uh, i really had all like week to do it but work was just so stressy and blah blah blah, blah. i have started pestilence and i got about 60 actually I got exactly 70 pages into Pestilence, uh, but I'm not going to update you on this right now because I feel like I still have, I have a considerable amount left before I feel like I'll really get a grasp for what the story is. Um, but I do want to talk about the audiobook that I said that I had on standby because I have finished it. I have finished my reread for the month, which was Oddity by Eli Brown. This one, I... It was only like three hours and 40-ish minutes at double speed. I did start and finish this. Now, this is one that I read two-ish years ago. I can't remember if I... Yeah, I think two-ish years ago. Um, And I enjoyed it then. Wasn't sure if I was ever going to reread it or if I even wanted to keep it on my shelves. Um, But I did. And I'm very much glad I reread it. I think it was really interesting. And I think this solidified the fact that... I do want to keep it on my shelves and reread it again 
because I listened to it on audio, though, I didn't get, like, the full experience. All through it, there are illustrations all throughout it. Um, first of all, I should probably explain what this is about. We were following Clover, who her entire life is told that oddities are dangerous. Oddities being, like, for example, um... A teapot that never empties that's always filled or like an ice hook that is always cold um, little things like that and she's always been told that these things are dangerous that they killed her mother um, and that she needs to stay away from them this until her father dies in front of her and he tasks her to protect the only oddity that he has ever deemed necessary um, and she is sent on this wild adventure to figure out what the heck is going on and why. I really enjoyed this. I think it was a fun story. Definitely not a five star. Uh, I think it's still solidified as a four star. It's officially maintained its place on my shelf. So I'm glad that I reread this. I'm glad that I kept it and gave it a second chance because it will be, will be staying and hopefully it will get a considerable amount of rereads because I love this cover. I do have a little bit more organizing and cleaning that I have to do today. And Benson has to go to work for a couple of hours soon. Uh, so actually not even, I don't even have that much. Just like literally a little bit. There are a couple piles downstairs that I would like to figure out what to do with. Uh, but that's really it. And then I can spend the rest of my night cleaning or the rest of my, my night reading. Uh, I might, I might continue on with Pestilence tonight or I might, I might get the manga on my TBR out of the way and just get through that because that would be pretty easy and quick and it'll make a good dent in my June TBR already because that'll be two books down, which is amazing. Now, the bad thing about finishing Oddity so quickly is that I don't have an audiobook for the rest of the month. I could see if Bone Ships has an audiobook but the reason or that I if I can download the audiobook for Bone Ships um, but the reason that I stopped reading it to begin with the first time was because I couldn't get into the audiobook either way I don't really have audiobooks or any audiobooks that I can rely on to help me finish my TBR for the rest of the week so I will be trying to read five books including Fairy Tale Road a Night physically in one week See how that goes. Hello! So it's, it's the next day. I actually managed to get a pretty decent amount of reading done. I already talked to you about the first book that I finished, but I figured since you were the one to choose the books, you should probably be included in at least I, I guess, a couple yeah. of the updates. Okay. So I ended up finishing Fairy Tale Road Tonight. Yeah. You said you read this before, right? Yeah. You liked it. Go ahead. Do your thoughts. Okay. So this is basically a side story following Gagio and I thought it was following Gagio and Levy so I was a little disappointed on that aspect because we don't really get a lot of them. Shocker. Um, <laughs> After recent events in the anime that we've gone through. Yeah. I Yeah. Yeah but I still really enjoyed this. I do love Gagio as a character. Um, 
still definitely not a five star probably closer to like a four 4.5 shocker um and like there's two different stories following god Hill in here and the second one oddly made me ship him in cobra a little bit what yeah you're fucking I, weird i ship it a little bit stop it i ship it stop it i'm okay with that's it. weird i'm just saying if I wasn't, you know, if I didn't dead set have my heart set on him and Levy, I might ship it a little bit. Am I wrong? I'm not going to say anything. Exactly. I'm, you're just fucking weird. <laughs> and then I thought about how... AIDS! Actually, it's not AIDS. <laughs> syphilis, my apologies. It's not syphilis either. I got halfway through pestilence and... Sounds close enough. First of all, we did discover an answer to your syphilis question. And what's the answer? He controls disease. Yes, I know so this. So he gets to control who he does and does not. <laughs> he controls who does and does not get if the diseases. Sex, if the sex is bad, boom, syphilis. <laughs> um, you ever heard of hate fucking? Well, this got taken to a new level. So it's actually not as spicy as I thought it was. Damn. going to be like that we've gotten one like intense build-up scene but even that wasn't really like that intense i don't know why i thought this was going to be a lot spicier than i thought but i'm actually kind of glad that it's not because the way this book is set up we have the potential for a stockholm situ like syndrome situation oh because he kidnaps her oh well he doesn't like kidnap her but it, like he takes her prisoner after she tries to kill him that's so weird yeah, well, she does end up killing him, but uh, she doesn't realize that, like, he do he can't die. Mm -hmm. uh, so he ends up using her, like, taking her hostage uh, to set an example on but why Stockholm you shouldn't try weird. to... It has the potential for Stockholm Syndrome, but it's actually I hope not. not. Okay. So, like, that's what I was really worried about when I first started reading it and, like, actually figured out what the premise was about. But she still very much, like, sticks to her... Like, sticks to her guns, and you can tell, like, he's way more interested in her than she is in him. Hmm. That being said, the writing in this isn't good. <laughs> like, this isn't the most groundbreaking romance I've ever read. This isn't the best story. Our character is very, like, she's a little cringy, and she's very much, like, set to be, like, that quirky uh, main female character it's not good it's not groundbreaking it's not what i look for in a romance but i'm still having so much fun with it like i'm actually rooting i'm not really i'm not sure that i'm really rooting for the romance but i am rooting for pestilence as a character is that all i think so okay yeah i think that that's really all i have to say but he does not give her syphilis yet <laughs> there's still time there's still plenty of time you know this for a fact. I do know it for a fact. Can't wait to see what happens next. Great stuff. Yeah. Okay, is that it? Yeah, I think so. I okay. think that's it. I am, like I said, I'm really enjoying this. I'm having fun with it, but it's not the best thing I've ever read. So I'm a little disappointed in that aspect. So right now I think it's feeling like a three star. Okay. Still a good Syphilis. Pick. No syphilis. All right. Syphilis. Why are you obsessed with and syphilis? And gonorrhea, baby. Why are you obsessed? Penis AIDS. Why are you obsessed with syphilis? It's funny. It's funny. Is there something you need to tell me? No, it's just funny as hell. <laughs> okay. All right. Say bye to the viewers. Syphilis. Okay.
hello okay uh so i'm in a little bit of a different scenery uh we are actually up at benson's grandparents um watching the house for the weekend and of course as you just saw the baby the puppy my the love of my life i'm up here and probably i'm going to hopefully try to get a decent amount of reading done between today and tomorrow because i should finish this vlog tomorrow and get started on next week's vlog so i did bring quite a few books with me since the last time we spoke i have not uh i've not finished any books i am about 100 pages from finishing pestilence and i've got even less than that of sisters Grimm. i have started the last book in the sisters Grimm series which is a bittersweet feeling um, I've got, like I said, probably less than 100 pages left. I didn't bring Council of Mirrors with me, um, only because I didn't think, I didn't think it was practical to bring, like, a whole book for something that, like, I'm going to finish within an hour. So instead, I downloaded the ebook so that I could finish it on my Kindle while I'm up here. And then I brought Pestilence, which I'm hoping to finish tonight. I'm hoping to get, you know, two books out of the way tonight. And then tomorrow I brought Dungeon Party with me to at least start that. I don't think I'm going to finish that in this vlog if, unless I can read, somehow perform a miracle and read a 400 page book in a day. Don't think that's going to happen, but at least I will have started it and made some decent progress on my June TBR. All in all, I'm very happy with how this vlog is turning out. I do wish there was more B-roll footage. I'm sorry about that. The B-roll footage is definitely, I haven't really been prioritizing that as much as I should be. Also, I haven't really been prioritizing editing or anything, which like I didn't bring the laptops. We didn't bring the laptops up here this weekend uh, just because the weekend could end up getting cut short like we could end up going home early for one reason or another um so yeah those are the plans for the next two days we're gonna see how much reading your girl can get done uh and i don't think benson is coming up tonight um as of right now probably not so i think i just have the house to myself with the dog and we're just chilling I'm officially ending this vlog. Um, I know it wasn't anything spectacular, kind of actually a very boring week, um, but I'm officially ending the vlog. Uh, and I do have some reading updates. First of all, I finished Pestilence, which is one that I was not sure I was going to in this vlog. I have a really bad habit of starting books and then not finishing them for a long time especially when I start them at the beginning of the month um, but I finished Pestilence and my thoughts on this still stand um, pretty much exactly word for word for what I said on the last update with Benson still feels like a three-star read 
it is very close to what I feel like a dark romance. Like, this is probably like the darkest romance that I have ever read. I wouldn't maybe necessarily classify it as a dark romance. But, like, it's not really like a rootable, root for a bull romance. It's very. Like, he doesn't treat her 100% the best. Um, at least at the start. Because obviously, like, this is very much. This is like a true enemies to lovers book where he very much hates her for the first little bit because she does try to kill him so I do get that in a sense um it really takes like a lot of this book for for them to fall in love um and and for our main character Sarah to get it through her head that like yeah maybe I'm actually falling for this villain yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend this, even though I did have a good time with it. I do still think it should have been about 100 pages shorter. We got a lot of back and forth between the character, or a lot of re repetition throughout it, and like the characters even make fun of it a little bit, where it's like, where, where like they'll argue, they'll make up, he'll kill people, even though she's telling him that like he shouldn't, and blah, 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 blah. I also completely read and didn't talk much about in this vlog, um, The Sisters Grimm, the last book, Council of Mirrors, which, <laughs> asshole, <laughs> which I very much enjoyed. It was a very bittersweet ending. Uh, I've talked about this series so much in my channel, pretty much since the very beginning. Um, and now I'm done with it. Why are you looking at me like that? They just said washed up punch. Did they predict Gamer Girl Water? Okay. Or was this after? I don't know. But I, I just randomly put a show on since Impractical Jokers isn't on. And we ended up on Big City Greens on Disney Channel. It's kind of wild. Brad Marchand was a guest star in one of the episodes. Uh, yep. It's funny as shit. <laughs> Continue. Um, and I did, I very much enjoyed it. I didn't quite give it a five star. Yeah, there was a little bit uh, at the end where I feel like we definitely could have gotten more answered questions but compared to a lot of other middle grade series that I've read that have left off with too many questions I do very I did very much enjoy this ending and like I'm sad but I'm also happy that I got like the ending that it deserved and last quick update I got about 30 pages into Dungeon Party which like it's still too early for me to really talk about so I'm not really going to give my opinions in this vlog but hopefully in an upcoming vlog next week is a themed vlog so I'm not going to talk about it in that because it doesn't necessarily fit the theme but I will talk about it before the end of the month obviously I have to try to finish it. Do you have any updates babe? Uh no. I'm kind of tired. Oh okay. Tired of your bullshit okay anyway. <laughs> I'm a Ranguru in Pokemon Go. Oh good job. Thank you. All right, um, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me this week, and I will see you in my next video, hopefully very soon. Hey, 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 you gotta do your outro card. I don't do the outro in vlogs. You don't? I don't do the outro in well, vlogs. Well, fucking do it in this one. I don't do it in no, vlogs. No, I expect it now. I just do it in the sit-down videos. Just do it. I don't do it in vlogs. This is I weird. never have. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more from me, as well as this dumbass. I will leave all of their links down in the description box below, as well as links to my social media if you want to get any more updates from me. But until then, goodbye. Bye.